This is a little video about how to make um, clay. Yes, clay. It's a pinch pot. We're going to make a pinch pot. Yeah. And how old are you? Uh, three. You're three. Okay. So this is a very fun way of making a little pot if you've got very little hands. And we are going to... Oh. We've got a piece of clay here. Now this yeah. is air dry clay. Yeah. It is air dry clay, which means you can put it in the kiln if you want to. If you have a kiln, you can put it in the kiln, but you don't have to. <gasps> and it's very, very nice and squashy to touch, isn't it? Doesn't that feel nice and squashy? Yeah. So you don't have to put it in the kiln. You can just let it dry in the air. So that's probably what we're going to do because we want to paint it. We're going to leave it overnight and then we're going to paint it tomorrow. So the first thing that you want to do is get a ball of clay uh, about the size of your the palm of your hand. That might be a little bit big for you. Do you want mummy to help you squash it into a circle? Best thing to do is just roll it into a circle. You can roll it on the table like that. Oh, roly, roly, roly. Tends to go into a sort of a funny diamond shape if you do it like that, but you can so you can use a combination of rolling it on the table, patting it in your hands. I'll tell you what I might do, so I might just take a little bit off mine and make mine a little bit smaller and then we can swap over. There we go. Oh, yeah, make yours a little bit smaller as well, I think. There we go. Do you want me to help you with yours? Squash yours into a circle? Squash it into a circle. Big ball. <laughs> That's a great big ball. Boing. Not Boing. very bouncy though. It's a ball, but it doesn't bounce very much, does it? It sort of does a splat. <laughs> splat. So what you do, make it into a nice ball. You support it with one hand. And then you press your thumb in, right the way in until you can just feel it. And then what you do is you start to pinch it out like that. With your fingers you turn it around and you're pinching with that action, pinching with that action. There we go. Pinching, ah. oh, there we go. So pinching around. Like that. A wiggly worm. Wiggly worms. You can make us a... Now. And we can It's getting a little bit dry around the top, but that's okay. But we can do clay. Also. We can do clay, yeah. Yeah, and we, and we can do some friends. Yeah. And let me see. Pinching around. There you go. You smooth off the right edge like that. There you go. <clears throat> so you're going to smooth it off. That's it. Oh, that looks lovely. Wow, look at that. That looks nice and shiny. So there we've got a nice circle. We're going to start again. We're going to press the thumb in, pressing the thumb in, and then supporting it with one hand, you start to pinch it out like that with pinches, like, like a crab, crab fingers, rather than nippy fingers like that. We're doing crab claws because that will press it out. It's a bit wobbly. Is it a bit wobbly? Well it's probably because it's a little bit wet but that's all right because it'll dry out overnight and then when it's dried we can paint them really lovely colours. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of water because it's a bit dry around the top there. Can I do too much? Smooth it off. Can I use too much? 
Okay, can this not go doing dry? Well, it's okay because if we leave it overnight, and you can if you want, you can drop it on the surface like that to make the top rim a little bit smoother. Mom. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That's a nice little bowl which you can use. You can leave it overnight and then paint it lovely colours when yeah. it's dried. You can pop it, if you drop it a couple of times, just very gently. Oh, it's a bit splodgy, isn't it, that one? Drop it a couple of times like that. It gives it a little bit of a flat base so it'll stand up. There we are. I'm just going to move this out of the way. There we go. So there we have two little pots. So do you want to put yours there as well? There we go. There's a little, a little shiny slippy one. Which I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If you get like a little bit of water in like that, like a little pool of water, it's best to tip that out before you let it dry. If part of it's very wet, it'll dry unevenly and it'll, it's more likely to crack. So there you have two little pinch pots which we can paint in the morning. You can also mix this if you want. Oh, looks like you're going for a sort of earthy brown colour there. You, you, you can mix this and this. Green and blue. Oh, that's right. Green and blue. Green and blue. Do you know how to mix? Yeah, well, you're doing a very good job of mixing there. You want to have it? You can always make it another one. Yeah. This is my favourite M. Do you want to... Do you Tell you what, I'll get a little towel. Look. 